Hey guys, I'm Django Fett, and today I'm gonna do a movie review, movie review of the movie um, Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, Chronicles of Riddick stars um, Vin Diesel as Richard B. Riddick, and Riddick is basically a um, an an isolated murderer who wants to be left alone. But every time he runs into trouble because of mercenaries trying to catch him because they want that bounty on him. Now, Chronicles of Riddick is the second movie of... Now, Chronicles of Riddick is the second movie of the Riddick trilogy or saga, you can say. Um, it It's... Well, yeah, it's right after... It's right after... Um, it's right after Pitch Black. It's actually five years after Pitch Black, and um, um, it's five years after Pitch Black. And af uh, if you remember from Pitch Black, spoilers. Um, this movie contains spoilers as well about the uh, Chronicles of Riddick movie, and for Pitch Black. So in Pitch Black, um, him, um, this girl who. Everybody thought it was a guy. Um, I forget. I, I I can't remember her name. Um, and uh, Imam were and Riddick were the only ones that survived, and they were um, um, they went off world, and they all went. They all three of them went their separate ways. Um, Riddick actually um went to this some ice world just to be left alone for five something years. Mercenaries keep on catching him, um, ran up to him, and he found out there was this bounty on him by Imam, so he goes to New Mecca. And uh, he actually, well, I just don't want to go too much into the story, but uh, um, he runs into the Imam, he runs into Imam, and, you know, they find out that um these this army of undead people called necromongers are invading planets and destroying them um for what purpose i s sort of get but i don't i i still don't understand um they just want to conquer worlds just to you know grow their armies and just for the hell of it you know um <clears throat> but it's a cool premise that you know, this army comes to Nemeca, um, to the planet, Helion Prime, I should say. And, uh, you know, um, there's this big battle that goes on. It's pretty cool seeing it. And, oh yeah, I forgot to say, Chronicles of Riddick actually came out in 2005. And, um, actually, Chronicles of Riddick came out in 2004. And, um, hold on, let me see. <coughs> Chronicles of Riddick actually came out uh, in... Chronicles of Riddick actually came out in 2014. Chronicles of, Chronicles of Riddick came out in 2004, so it's four years after, um, after, um, after, um, Pitch Black, which came out in 2000. And, uh, <coughs> like I said, um, they invade this planet, they conquer it pretty quickly, the Necromongers. And they basically want people to join them or they'll kill them. Um, Riddick, um, before he, before that happens, you know, he, um, he, um, before that happens, Riddick is, um, enraged because Imam died because this crazy dude killed him. Um, so he wants revenge, kills the guy. And he's forced to get out of the planet, and mercenaries catch him. He goes to this one planet. Um, <clears throat> he's basically sent to this planet. He's basically sent to the planet, and is a prisoner there. And he just does his best to escape. And he escapes in like pretty much like 15, 30 minutes. And no one's set to escape from there. 
<clears throat> so so far this movie kicks it off great. Um, there's action, suspense. I mean, just badassness by Riddick, played by Vin Diesel, and I mean this movie is just fantastic compared to Pitch Black and Pitch Black built. Up to that moment and it built up to the moment with the creatures and Riddick and it took like half the movie you know it took like an hour just for it to build up into um to the part with the monsters and stuff I'm sorry I shouldn't say an hour it was like half an hour but still it, it took too long to build up like the Chronicles of Riddick movie it it didn't have to build up to anything. That it was action right in your face. All this badassness by Riddick, and just a really cool story. Um, it not be it may it may not be the most unique story, but it's pretty damn good. Um, the story is pretty good. I, I'm not gonna go any much more into the story. <clears throat> Actually, I am. Cut that out. Um, but then Riddick, um, he escapes from the planet, and he's he wants to find <clears throat> Riddick escapes from the planet, and is forced to face the Necromongers again, and defeats them, and he becomes the leader. How cool is that? Um, it is the whole movie is really badass. It's so cool. Um, the action is awesome. The characters are pretty cool for for most of, are pretty cool for most for the most part. I mean, Riddick steals the show, obviously. Um, but he he is this is his best movie by far. Um, out of all the Riddick movies, uh, the next Riddick movie, which I thought was a disappointment, Pitch Black was okay at best. It didn't show the badassness of Riddick. Riddick was just killing people left and right and it was just so awesome to see in this movie you know um there were some you know just some awesome moments with Riddick you know just killing people and just all this awesome stuff I mean this is what the Riddick movies should be and the first one was uh, was okay the, th the second one was great and the third one was a disappointment it was mediocre um I thought it, the third one would be great, but it 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 tried to lead. It would try to go back to the pitch black roots, and I don't think that's where it was the most successful. Chronicles of Riddick is the most successful out of all the Riddick movies. Um, it has a great story, good characters for the most part, great visuals. Um, you know, yeah. Let me name some of the actors that were in this movie. Uh, Vin Diesel is Riddick. Uh, Calm Fjorn, Calm Fjor as Lord Marshall, and uh, Thandi Newton from as a uh, Dame Vaco, um, Judy Dench as Aaron, and Carl Urban as Vaco. Those are the main guys right there. Um, Carl Urban as Vaco was pretty cool, you know. Um, you know, this movie was great for the most part. I mean, there was a lot that happened. And it just showed Riddick doing all these super cool kills, and it's just an awesome, it's just an awesome action flick. Um, you know, really good story, good characters. I mean, Riddick's the best in this movie. Battles are pretty cool. Um, you know, uh, visuals are cool. I mean, this movie's awesome. It's so cool. Um, so, I have to give my, uh, rating. So, uh, everything is great about this movie. This is the best movie out of all the Riddick movies, and it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, I don't know if it's top ten, but it's, it's just awesome. It's just an awesome movie to see. And clearly the best out of all the Riddick movies. You know, people can say Pitch Black, but I thought it was okay at best. Um, I didn't think it was exciting, and... There was a lot of build up and it just took too long for it to build up. Riddick was just like, it's just all the action just hit you in the face and you were just like, wow, that's so cool. You know, um, just movie is fantastic. Um, 
It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And, you know, I gotta be fair in this review. You know, I just can't base it off, you know, you know, just my opinion. I mean, just from my heart. Um, it was a good movie for most part. You know, characters were kind of forgettable at times. Um, there were some awesome moments with Riddick. But, I mean, you know, the, it had some flaws. It had a little bit of flaws. Um, sort of with the story, you know, you didn't understand the Necromongers too much. And you didn't understand the Furians um, as well. You wish you knew more about the Necromonger history. And you wish you knew more about the Furian history and how Riddick came to be. Um, maybe that mystery is good for future Riddick movies. Um, it, they clearly did not show it in the next Riddick movie. Man, uh, oh boy. Uh, the next Riddick movie, I'll probably do. I'm most likely going to do a review of that as well. But uh, that's going to be a tough one because that movie was. Uh... But I'll also be doing a review of Riddick movie, the Riddick, uh, just Riddick movie, which came out earlier this year, and uh. Yeah, hopefully that'll, that'll go well. Um, it was... I can't name a bad thing about this movie. I mean, you wish you wish you knew. You wish you knew more about the history with um, Riddick and, uh, you know, the Necromongers and how they came to be and how Riddick came to be because you don't know anything about Riddick. He just came out, out of the blue and just was a badass, you know, born badass. Um, you know, you wish you knew more about him. And, I, man, he's just an awesome, badass character. Um, so there, there's a flaw in that, you know. Um, you know, you have... You see visions of, of uh, you know, uh, of a necromonger soldier just choking um, babies, but you don't see anything else after that. Um, you wish you knew more about the um, um, about the necromonger history, and you wish you knew more about the characters. You know, um, they were all a mystery in some ways. Uh, Riddick was a mystery. Um, you know, but all the necromongers are his. Our mystery, so. <sighs> so, now I gotta give a review for this. Uh, now I have to give a rating for this movie. So I'll give it out of a, out of a five. Um, my reviews are out of five. So, for this movie, um, it's it's a really good movie. It's not the greatest movie of all time by any means, but this is a really good movie. So. My review has to be, so my rating has to be a four, a four, a four out of five. A really good movie ended, solid, ended solidly, and the sequel should have been better than the sec, better than the second one. So, what did you think of my review video? What did you think of the movie? You know, Chronicles of Riddick. You know, it's a great movie. What did you think of Vin Diesel as Riddick? I mean, he, fantastic, you know? He's a great badass, you know? Great character. And uh, let me just get your thoughts in the comments below. Um, yeah, what did you think about this movie? Did you like, hated? Please tell me your thoughts in the comments below. So, 
Also, please like and uh, comment on my channel, and please subscribe to my channel, Django Fed. And appreciate you guys watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And don't forget to watch my uh, Pitch Black review as well, if you haven't seen that as well. So, watch that Pitch Black review. Come back to this review as well. So, also, watch uh, watch um, my uh, Pitch Black review. Um, so, also, watch my Pitch Black review if you haven't seen it already. Um, I, give a I give a review out of five. And also, look out for my uh, Riddick uh, review as well. And I'll try to do that as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Django Fett. Peace.